This is Jerry Ampere coming to you live from the Eaton Experience Center Sportsplex in Warrendale, Pennsylvania at the first ever Overcurrent Protective Device Games. Let's do this. Don't forget to use arms when you need it. All right, you know the strategy. You're the fastest thing on this track. Don't listen to anybody. Just listen to that inner fuse element. Okay, now don't forget what we said about the fault region. And remember, you have fun out there. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Well, everyone, it looks like we have a great competition lined up for today. And I will see all of you at the finish line. On your mark, get set. And they're off. Wait a minute, where is the contactor going? As you can see from this overhead map graphic, the race course is broken down into three areas. The course starts in the overload area, then transitions to motor starting and transformer inrush, finally finishing with short circuits and faults. Okay, it looks like the contactor has finally straightened himself out. And look at him flying past the fuse and now the breaker. But you know the breaker is looking pretty steady. I wonder when he'll kick in arms. Your health looks great. Keep up the pace for the rest of the race. Well, now it looks like the contactor is stuck in the faults region and the fuse still doesn't seem to be in a hurry. You're going to lose, fuse. All right, they're almost at the fault region. It's been great knowing you, bud, but you got to go. Remember, you're doing this for safety. Now this is getting exciting. The breaker just switched on arms. Closing in on the finish line, and, and wait a minute, what is the contactor doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a finish that was. Now let's talk to our competitors to see what their thoughts are on the results of the OCPD games. So Jerry, this just goes to show you that the referee needs a set of glasses. Fuse John was in his element today. He did a heck of a job representing the Fuse family well. Yeah, Tom, you know, I was impressed. I, I really was. He really did give his all. Now over to Dan. Man, I don't even know where that fuse came from. I didn't see him the whole race, but he sure as heck finished with us. We were monitoring the breaker the whole time, and when we kicked in arms, it made all the difference. And would somebody please tie down that contactor? I mean, come on, I don't mind helping him out, but he just doesn't stop. Now let's go to Eric and see what he has to say about that wild finish. So Eric, what was that all about? Well, Jerry, a contactor can't clear a major fault all on its own. So that's why we always work with one of these two devices anyway, to get the job done. That race was so much fun. Can we do the whole thing again? Maybe we'll team up with the fuse this time. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Sounds good. Limitron's ready to go. All right, folks, I guess that says it all. What a great competition we had today. It really goes to show you that all these products work together to get it done. Not a single one of them is better than the other. It's teamwork that makes the dream come true. Open, close, open, close. Would somebody shut him up? Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close.